Nauru and Manus Island may soon call America home in a deal announced on the weekend, but not without a cost. It's been revealed the government has now deployed its largest maritime surveillance operation since World War II. Following concerns, people smugglers could take advantage of its one-off resettlement deal with the US. And the Prime Minister joins me now. Good morning to you, PM. Good morning. Prime Minister, how many of our refugees has the US agreed to take? We have not set a number on it. Uh, the, the Americans will assess uh, the refugees uh, from a security and uh, health point of view in, as referred to them by the UNHCR. Uh, but uh, we, there will be a substantial number would be eligible for resettlement in the United States. Uh, but we're not providing any more details on the arrangement than what we've done to date. Well, there's uh, up to 1,600 people. I mean, what's substantial? Well, I've, I've said there'll be, it is a substantial number that would be eligible. Uh, the important thing now is for the American officials uh, to do their work with the UNHCR. Uh, this is a critically important step in uh, resolving the shocking mess that the Labor Party left us uh, when they failed to protect Australia's borders. Is it, is it more or less than a thousand? That over that time of... Look, I'm, I'm... Thanks very much for the interrogation. Let me just say well, this I think you. it's fairly We're important. This is a, this very is a huge announcement. It is a huge announcement. It is hugely important to the lives of the people there on Nauru, and it's hugely important that we maintain the security and integrity of our borders. Uh, the message that, that I want to make very clear is this. The arrangements with the United States are one-off. The only people that are eligible for resettlement in the United States are those on Nauru and Manus right now. Uh, anyone who seeks to come to Australia with a people smuggler in now or in the future will not succeed. They will be turned back. They will not succeed in coming to Australia. Anyone who comes to those regional processing centres in the future will not be eligible for this deal. This is, this is our effort to ensure that we can resolve the, this shocking mess that the Labor Party left. Remember, they neglected our borders. They allowed 50,000 unauthorised arrivals. They oversaw, while they were in government, 1,200 and more deaths at sea. And it was the Labor Party that put these people on Nauru and Manus. And what I'm doing is seeking to ensure that they can leave and be resettled in the United States. Okay, Prime Minister, when will we find out exactly how many are going to be taken by the US? Well, that's a matter for the United States. What are you hopeful is the number that the US will take? Well, the United States has to make its own assessments and uh, we'll see as, as the uh, process continues, you'll see how many people uh, are able to resettle in the United States. You, this is a matter they've you, made this... You did this deal with the Obama administration, but of course on January the 20th, the not so immigration friendly Donald Trump takes power. How long is this opportunity open to asylum seekers to take up the offer? Well, again, this is a matter for the United States. The agreement was entered into with the administration, the government of the United States some time ago. Uh, we've announced it on the weekend. We deal with one administration at a time. Uh, the United States is not taking any additional refugees here. Uh, the refugees that they take under this uh, arrangement will be part of their overall uh, quota. OK, you spoke to Donald Trump last week, but you didn't mention this deal to him. Is this because you're concerned that he won't honour the deal? It's because we deal with one administration at a time. There's only one President of the United States at any time until January 20, when Donald Trump is inaugurated, the president is Barack Obama, and we deal with the one administration That's at a true, time. That's true, but you did talk to Donald Trump and, and other issues did come up. Why was this not considered important enough? Well, because we deal with one administration at a time and you don't discuss confidential matters with one administration with uh, 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 a, future, a, a future administration. Look, will, it's, uh, will all it's of those who take up this it's fairly offer... Sorry. 
Will all of those mm. who, who um, take up this offer, will they be resettled by January the 20th and safe and secure in the knowledge that they won't then find themselves in a bureaucratic mess midway between Australia and the US? Well, I'm sorry, I, I think I lost the last part of your question, but again, the timing will be in the hands of the United States. Uh, it will be, the United States will be accepting referrals from the UNHCR, that's the UN refugees uh, body, uh, and they will be done in an orderly way. But so, Prime Minister, uh, what I'm wondering is a, here is, is will the wheels process. of government and bureaucracy turn quickly enough for all of those who are accepted by the US to be actually on US soil by the time Donald Trump comes in as the new president? The, the process will go, will continue uh, for some months. It's, uh, it's not something that the United States won't be shortcutting their security or health checks, but they have to begin. And the US officials will be arriving in Australia to, and then going to uh, Nauru uh, over the next, in the course of this week, they'll be arriving in Australia. So you're not concerned that some people may get caught midway between Australia and the US where bureaucracy holds it up and these people are left in limbo land? Well, the if people are not resettled on uh, in the... Uh, then they have the option to remain on Nauru. The 20-year visas are being negotiated. They can return home to their country of origin, which of course is where people who have been denied refugee status should go, and indeed many have, uh, and they, or they can resettle uh, in Cambodia. But the one thing I want to be very clear about is they will not come to Australia. Okay. Prime Minister, we will have to leave it there. Thank you very much for your time this morning. I know it's a busy day for you. Thank you.